Hey everybody, wanted to do a quick five minutes tonight. I have been kind of playing with this this evening and I wanted to at least post something because I've been locked out for the last two days. I had the cannot connect to server error for pretty much two days straight. Um, I was doing a lot of other stuff, marketing and working on the website and Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and trying to get all that stuff together while I was patiently waiting to get into BuildBox 2. I uh, kept up with the forums, uh, reading about what people were having issues with and what they weren't having issues with. And so now I'm in and kind of wanted to go over it real quick tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to start a series on it, but wanted to kind of put out a prequel for that and uh, kind of what I've gone through. So I'm going to just kind of walk through this here real quick, less than five, six, seven minutes. And uh, then I'm going to call it a night. So I've only had really about four hours to play with this. And uh, since I got in, and I, I kind of pre-staged some graphics. And uh, so I got a little bit of the graphics done. One of the neat things is I'm here on the start menu. And there is this preloader now that I don't know really what it's going to do. I mean, I, I know what a preloader is. It's basically a progress bar that says how much it's loading. But um, So that's new. That's neat. And we'll see how it works. Uh, new scene have not figured out what this is, but it won't work without it. And I see the kind of the these little bars that are the uh, uh, pass, don't pass, and kill bars. Not sure how that's working with my main with the UI and all that, but you know we'll get into it. So uh, I did get this whole animation thing kind of going, and you can kind of see how stuff slides in there. I'm going to play with this a lot more, but I just thought it was interesting and, and wanted to show it. The animations are pretty cool, so you can get some of those. Uh, some of the higher end games, you'll see animations that fly in and stuff, and I want to be able to do that. So BuildBox just made it very easy to do that because I just built all all that that whole animation you're you're looking at right here. I did that in like I don't know a minute, so that was pretty neat. Um, yeah, I like that. So going back, uh, World One. I uh, basically put in a few levels. I got my little character here. It's just a uh, this is going to be kind of a neon game if you didn't pick up on that yet. Uh, kind of neon-y. Um, so I got my character. I did put a... Where did, where does it go? I did you kind of go down and play with the whole advanced move uh, animations and buttons. But I'm not going to show that yet. I'll go over that tomorrow because it is not working like I thought it would or how it's supposed to. Um, but it might be me doing something wrong. So I'll go over it tomorrow. I'm going to play with it some more. And, oh, what else I want to show? So on the second one here, you will see, I want to show this real quick. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and press play, just let you watch this. Check this out. So there's the, the kind of come in, fly in. Look at the, the particle effects on these. This is, that's the, um, this is the idle particle effect, particle effect, and this is the move particle effect. And I don't have these, these world settings and character settings quite right yet. Um, but I did want to go ahead and demonstrate that, uh, you know, I did have something going. And I got double jump enabled, so check out these particle effects. Is that not pretty wicked cool? And I'm just going to do the jump here. And then I'll throw. I'll go ahead and throw it in debug mode, and you can kind of see what's going on here. But uh, I'll, I'll go over this more detail tomorrow. I'm going to start, I'm going to actually erase all of this tomorrow and go over everything else and, and go over all of this in detail. As I start building out the game, much like I did with the, the last series, uh, G1, or Guan, however you want to say that. But so what I did on this one, just real quick, you can see three linker. I uh, went into linker mode and I linked the triangle to the three particle effects. So that as the triangle rotates at a rate of 50, which is an arbitrary number. I don't know what 50 actually means. It's just 50. Um, they actually kind of spin around with that. So once again, there's that. Get into it. And there you can see the triangle kind of spinning with the three particle effects attached to it. And then this little guy up here, being all cute, he is this particle effect. And I'm going to have to close this to show it, otherwise it may crash. Um, oh, so the crash rate. Uh, I think I've crashed probably eight times today. Uh, not too bad, but uh, definitely not solid. So here's that particle effect. You can kind of see some of the settings I picked. You can kind of do colors on it, which is pretty cool. You just kind of pick a color here. Uh, we'll go with, I don't know, green. Make it a dark green. And then the second color we'll make, 
I don't know, pink, just to show the difference. But there you go. Pretty neat. Uh, particle effects absolutely rock. I have been very, very happy with the particle effects. Almost makes up for the multi-select. Not having multi-select. Multi-select, by the way, in, in case I wasn't clear in, in some of the forum posts and stuff, I want to be able to, I'm clicking, I'm dragging, I'm not selecting. Click, drag, select. That's what I want to be able to do. So click, drag, select, you know, objects on the screen, multi-select. We don't have that, but we have particle effects. So it's almost an equal trade, but I still want multi-select. Just in case anybody from staff is watching this, multi-select. Yeah, so these particle effects, so that is pretty wicked cool. That's going to make games completely change, completely different, completely awesome. Um, you're gonna, people are going to do some really cool stuff with this. I can see it already. So just to make these little particle effects, all I did, fireworks, this little graphic right here generates all those particle effects you just saw. I mean, that is pretty cool. It's creating this one, it's creating the one on the character, and it's creating the one on the triangle. So, I mean, that is, yeah, pretty cool. So that's all I wanted to show for now. Um, and I just died on the screen, so everything kind of stopped moving, except the particle effects keep going. The triangle stopped rotating, but the particle effects are still going. Uh, you know, whatever. It is beyond cool, the particle effects. I can't say enough about them. I've messed with some of the teleport stuff. I've messed with some of the uh, logic pieces with the gatekeeper, paths, and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to incorporate all of that into the second game that I'm going to make. Again, going to do it all on, on camera, kind of like I did with the first one for Build Box 135. If you want to go watch that, um, you know, please do. I post everything on YouTube, so please subscribe there. Um, Twitter and Facebook, I'm on there too. Whichever people are on the most is probably where I'll start posting more stuff to. So subscribe and follow on, on those or like and follow, whatever, um, social media. But YouTube for sure. Um, go ahead and subscribe there and you'll get all the videos as I'm posting them throughout this next series. That's it. Um, that's it for tonight. No kids tomorrow. They're out with Nana. So tomorrow I'll be putting more, a lot more videos up hopefully and get a lot done. So, uh, stay tuned and see you tomorrow.